Ah. Uh, uh, ow. That f hurt. The drill bit just caught my shorts. And a little bit of my leg. Ow. Don't set your drill bit into your crotch. Check out that catfish. Are you freaking kidding me right now? What's up with all these praying mantis? There's one there. And there's one here. Weird. Anyways, I woke up to a phone call this morning from the metal shop and they said that they do not have the size of metal that I wanted. And the soonest they can get some in is on Thursday. So that sucks. We will not be getting the metal today. They did offer me a size up for the same price or a size down, but uh, that's not gonna work. I have to have 90 for these lids. I also woke up today with zero recollection of putting these pants on. I let my dogs outside and I looked down and I was like, what the heck? When did I put these on? So that was pretty weird. No metal today. We'll still get the angle in today, hopefully. I will according to the UPS guy, but I guess today, what can we do? I need to catch up on the weight. I need to weigh all these frames. I need to weigh all these lids, frame back there. I need to cut down and weigh all this. By the way, all this foam, it weighs 2.4 pounds for one roll of it. So not too bad on that. I need to weigh all of the lips inside all the lids. All right, I'm gonna get this measured and then figure out the weight of all this stuff and I'll be right back. All right, so we just cut out this piece here. This piece is going to sit right here under this back latch. But that is just to make all this level with this deck here. And that is so the lid will sit flush. So now it's all sitting level all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and rivet this into place. All right. So now that piece there sits level. So that is good. It's looking great, man. I'm digging this whole boat build, but I'm actually about to go play some golf. So uh, I'll be back. <laughs> So we were at the lake doing some nighttime dock fishing and we brought up golf and Tyra here was like, man, I can't destroy you at golf. So she challenged me today. We're at the golf course and I think it's pretty obvious who's winning. <laughs> so fast. <laughs>
<laughs> what, what a shot. Thank God. <laughs> My luck is changing. <laughs> All right, so I just got home from golfing and this was sitting here on my boat. So here are the hinges, I hope. Let's see. Yeah, there's definitely something in there. Let's go ahead and open it up and check them out. Hopefully they're not damaged. Let's pull them out and see what we got. All right, they look good. Thank you, Laura, no damage. They all still open up good. All right, we're good, no damage. And we have our hinges. Freaking sweet. I wish we got a metal today, but now we'll have to wait till Thursday, which is two days from now. So that sucks. Okay, so I left off with needing to rivet on this piece here. So let's go ahead and get that done. I have my pencil now. So this is now the, the tools that I need are the ones that are never actually plugged in series. All right, that piece is done. I could go ahead and attach the hinges right now. Let's go ahead and throw this back. Guys, look how awesome this looks. It's all square, it's all flush. It all looks so freaking good. All right, so we got all that done framing wise. Now we can go ahead and get this back door framed out. So I'm gonna be throwing a one inch piece here and that is what this is going to sit on and also where I'm going to attach the hinge to as well and then I have a three quarter piece that is going to sit behind it like this so essentially I'm making this but this piece on the back here is just to support the deck so the deck is going to sit on this and then sit on that just a little support for that. So I'm pretty sure I will be standing here on the edge because I always do. We need to support the deck as much as we possibly can. So what I need to do now is go ahead and cut these three pieces. They will all be the same size. They're going to fit right in here. I'm going to go ahead and mark where this needs to sit. From what I learned with this hinge, the under bracket here needs to sit a little bit out. So I'm going to need to do the same thing for this one, I feel like. Let's go ahead and get this cut down to size, and then we'll mess with that. Let's go ahead and set it up. So now we have that, and that should just drop right into place. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, you know what I forgot I have to do. I have to make pieces go in here and rivet all that together so I can attach it on the side. Dang it. All right, so with these hinges, I'm thinking about where I need to set it. And I'm looking at Nate's pre-made lid and where he has his set. And it looks almost flush with the foam. I'm not sure if all foam is the same thickness, probably not, but I want to match Nate's pre-made lid, so that is what I'm going to do. I have this live well set up on the edge of this because this is the only 90 I have. I will be getting 90 tomorrow, Thursday, I'm not sure when, but I'm going to set this on top of that and then throw my hinge there just to get an idea. I don't know how I'm going to mark it either. That's the hard part. I also just finished making these pieces here for both ends. I just cut a piece of the same size aluminum and turned it and riveted that into place. And that just gives me a place to drill out and rivet these onto the side walls. So let's go ahead and get this in place. Oh, you got to be kidding me. No, that light might be in the way. And maybe not because this will have to be pushed back. Oh, I'm gonna have to move that light or cut off some of this aluminum here. Stupid light. 
Oh, I didn't want to go that deep. Oh well. Oh well. Now I just need to get the hinge in and mark where that needs to sit. It's not easy to do with uh, this square moving. I actually might need someone's help with that. I need you to hold this end and then hold this end over here. <gasps> so put your finger, see how you can feel it's level? Yeah. With this and then the top. Hold it there and then do the same over here. I just need to, okay, hold that down, hold it strong, okay? Okay. Oh, it fell, Sarah. Sarah, it fell. It's not, yeah. your, <laughs> it's not your fault. Sorry. Oh <laughs> I didn't put the other on. Yeah, I noticed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that in the video. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that you're videotaping. Thanks, turd bird. Oh, that's it? That's it. Okay. Well, you can do the rest of it for me if you want. No, I'm good. Okay. I guess I'll do it then. With the help of my sister, I got the mark where this needs to go, so I can now move this and rivet this into place. All right, so I got that piece riveted in, but I just realized getting the other side in is going to be impossible with that amount of space. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get this back out, get it all together, and then rivet all this together outside the boat, and then I'll be able to get it back in the boat and then rivet this back in. So I'm pushing up against the one inch angle down here. I'm putting the bottom of the hinge right level with the bottom of this one inch angle. That's where I'm holding it, and I think that's where it's going to work out. So that is what I'm going to do outside the boat, get it all connected. And once I get it back in the boat, it will all be right. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm bleeding over here. Don't know where that came from. And I'm going to do this sitting in this chair. All right, now that you can actually see it outside the boat, what I was saying was the bottom of the hinge needs to line up perfectly with the bottom of this piece of angle. And that should give me the perfect height of the hinge with the foam. Well, let's go ahead and get this thing screwed together. Hopefully four is enough to hold all this together pretty strong. Should be. We got that clamped. Let's go ahead and draw out this side. All right, there is that piece. Guys, it almost looks like I know what I'm doing. It's crazy. All right, let's piece this all back together if we can. All right, so now we have that piece on. I still need to drill out the other three holes, but that is how that piece looks. Oh, oh, ow, that f hurt. The drill bit just caught my shorts and a little bit of my leg. Ow, don't set your drill bit into your crotch or into your lap. Ow, God, that hurt so bad. Crotch cam, God, that freaking hurt. Definitely got skin. Not bleeding, Jesus, man. I talked about this earlier. Whenever you let off the button on this drill, it just keeps going. It kept going. I set it down in my lap and it caught into my shorts and cut my leg a little bit. Not enough to bleed, luckily, but that freaking hurt. All right, there is that piece finished. Looks pretty freaking good. Besides busting my knuckle and almost drilling into my crotch, we did pretty good. 
and that is how that's gonna look now we can go ahead and get that riveted into place it's really hard to get that tight with the angle I have to work with here there's not really an angle to work with here Ah, oh, man I really like to get a rivet in on this side that's riveted in but it still spins a little bit which I don't like all right so I figured out a way to attach this side it's not gonna be pretty but it won't be seen <laughs> so I was thinking I can get the rivet gun down here about two inches lower than this piece so what I'm gonna do is add a piece to this side is going to go down two inches. I'm going to drill a rivet through there. And then on this side, I can't go straight down because of the hole for the hose, the gas hose. So what I'm going to do is go off about an inch to the side right here. So I need to make that probably double as thick and then attach it to that, drill the hole out. And this is where I'm going to rivet that side in because my rivet gun can reach right there. So. I mean, once I drill the deck to this and get that all attached, it will secure it, but I can't live with that right now. It's not going to work out. It's not going to fly with me. I really dig this piece right here I made, though. Pretty cool. Alright, that's the piece we're going to use. Let me hammer that flat. Alright, so I'm going to hold this piece down. I mean, guys, this piece is going to look insane, but it's going to get the job done and it won't be seen under the decking. Or even if you open the hatch, it still won't be seen, so that's why I'm doing it. Alright, take one last good look at this fabrication. Not very pretty, but dang it, it's going to work. Last time you'll see it, once it's in the boat, it'll all be hidden. And I'm actually going to weigh this, so where's my scale? So this whole contraption I just made is 0.84 pounds. I may weigh that in ounces. 13.5 ounces. I'm going to drop some rivets in the last holes we made so it's in the right spot. All right. Freaking beautiful. We got it. Slow clap. F in the comments for winning. Well, we'd probably like to see it, huh? I felt the tightness of that rivet. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is tight. I can shake the whole boat with that thing. I'm so happy, that was worth it. Making those pieces, adding them on, losing two shims, having to make three shims, totally worth it. Because now that piece is in there tight, it can't spin. Another lid go there so I'm gonna make a mark right here and then one over here so I need to drill holes and then match those holes up with this One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rivets is gonna hold this lid on to this hand, so that's gonna be pretty strong. All right, now the hard part. I need to get this lid attached to this where it's gonna sit and it has to be perfect. And then I can drill out the holes onto this. Okay, it needs to be a hair under that mark. So now I'm going to flip this over. 
<laughs> they got that clamp in place. I'm happy with the placement. I'm going to go get one more clamp for this side. I think I'm going to go ahead and mark all those holes in case it moves. I marked the holes just to be safe. But I'm going to try and drill, at least start the drill mark for each hole when it's still attached. All right, there's that. Got them all started. Now we can remove these clamps and know where to drill. That's how big that gap is gonna stay. So this rivet can easily fit inside there. Sweet, no counter sinks. Oh dang, the first lid is about to be attached. And I'm definitely gonna call it quits after this. I will do these two doors tomorrow in the next video, but it's getting late and I need to edit. So uh, definitely calling it quits. This thing kicked my butt today, I'm not gonna lie. It was a pain in the butt. It was easy, very time consuming. I just kept dropping the stupid shimmy. Kept having to make a new one, bunch of BS. But all in all, it wasn't that bad. Dramatic. Last one, baby. All right, so here it is. It's all vacuumed out. We got it all riveted together. This piece right here was a pain in the butt. And that reminds me, on the first boat build, the hinges was the worst part of the entire build. And I think that's gonna continue over to this new build. It wasn't bad, it's doable, it takes a little bit of time, but here we go. First time closing it. If I did this right, this should all sit flush, nice and smooth. Whew, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that side looks like it's up a little bit. This side. If it's up, I mean, it is barely just up on this side. How are we looking over here? Oh, that side is up quite a bit. I may have to adjust that a little bit because that is way too much up. There's definitely a gap on that side. That side is up too. Dang it. I need to fix that. Ah, oh, that sucks. Uh, I'm not gonna film this. I'm gonna fix this, get it all flushed, flat, get it back together, and then we will uh, be ready to go. It'll be done. All right, so I've been messing with this. I took out all of the rivets here, and then I made the holes bigger on this piece, and then I put in just the two ends. So when you do this, just drill out the two ends, right? Drill out the two ends, give it riveted on, and then test the fit. So I now got it sitting nice and flush and flat all the way around. It is nice and perfect. That is where I want it. So once it's nice and secure with the outer rivets, that's when you go through and drill the other holes. Oh, I'm learning as I go guys. So uh, I didn't know that, but now I do. I'm gonna go ahead and finish all the other rivets and then get back with you. Let's get this gas tank back in there. Sorry to turn off the camera and not show what I did but it was literally just tweaking the stuff I did before. I basically took this off. I made all the holes for the rivets a little bigger, a little taller. That way I could move the lid up, which when I flip it down, it moves the lid down. I got it in place and then tightened all the rivets and now it is sitting pretty exactly where it needs to be. Sitting down flat and it is perfect. As you can see over here, it is all flush. I can shake the whole boat with that. So that is good. That gap you're seeing is not a gap that is actually touching on this side. But if you look, this piece does not extend all the way over. So it's sitting on this lip, but it looks like a gap is there, but there's not that in short. That's why it looks like that, but it is done and it looks freaking awesome, man. Cannot wait to get the sheet metal 
and get that all attached. Then the latches, oh, man, it's gonna be freaking sick. There we are, boys. The first hinge is now officially attached and sitting perfect. I'm stoked. We got the deck support in the back. We got the hinge in the right spot. Foam, and it is flush. Once again, I hope all this foam is the same size, but I'm just matching Nate's hinge over there and it came out freaking perfect. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. These hinges were a pain in the butt, but I learned a lot doing that one. So I'm now ready to attack the longer, bigger hinges. Hopefully I can get it straight the first time, but uh, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.